not a legion of boom from a few years ago, but how impressed were you looking at Seattle's defense last week and what they did to the Colts? Yeah, they did a really good job. Uh, you know, I think you can pretty much count on every year that, that Seattle's defense is going to be pretty good. You know, I think it's been, I don't know, the last 10, 12 years that, that they've been solid just about every single year. So a uh, ton of respect for their program and, and what they've been doing. Uh, obviously, you look at this team, they got linked on the edges. Uh, flying linebackers, Bobby Wagner, obviously one of the best linebackers in the game. He's flying around Jamal Adams, is making plays all over the place. He's aggressive. He uh, is a great tackler, great pressure, pressure guy. Uh, the corners are covering well, so definitely have our, our uh, hands full this week. Looking forward to having to use a silent count again for the first time in more than a year. I wouldn't say looking forward to it, but uh, it's going to be good to play in front of a, a road crowd, man. There's a uh, there's nothing like going into a, a hostile environment and feeling that energy and um, being able to operate. So it's going to be a challenge for us. Going to have to work it this week and uh, and be clean going into the game. And it's going to be a challenge, but you know, looking forward to that. You guys ran very few play action plays on Sunday in the past. That's something that you have thrived on with this team. Is that something you're wanting to maybe do more of in the future as, as the weeks progress? Yeah, we know how our team's built. Obviously, we'll see each game unfolds differently. Um, but if there's opportunities there, then, then of course, you know, we'd like to take advantage of that. Ryan, in watching the tape of, of Sunday's game, uh, what were the issues? Did, did they jump off of the tape? Uh, did you, you know, things that can be kind of easily fixed? Uh, you know, what was your thoughts when you did watch the film? Yeah, I think ultimately it just comes down to getting back to playing our game. You know, I think that uh, at times we didn't play to our standard, obviously, um, with the effort, the finish, the, the, the passion. I uh, got to get back to that a little bit. Uh, you know, they, they got off to a good start and tip your hat to them. But at the end of the day, we have to uh, dig back into uh, to what we believe in, in in this building, in this program, and uh, and come out swinging, come out fighting. So uh, look forward to the opportunity this week for our guys to go finish, to play fast, to play aggressive, to, to push piles, uh, to move people in the run game and, and get that momentum going. Why maybe you weren't able to? I don't. I, I don't know, it's tough to say, but I think, you know, we, uh, we kind of got hit in the mouth early, right? And we, we go out and, and didn't get the, get the start that we wanted, and um, we didn't respond well. You know, it took us, whatever, four drives before we moved the ball. So, uh, you know, that's unacceptable. We have to be able to respond quickly. There's going to be games where you come out and don't get the start you want. You go three and out. So what? You have to be able to reset and, and come out the next drive swinging and, and make a play. So... Um, you know, that'll be a challenge for us moving forward is if things don't go perfectly, if things don't go well early or at some point in the game, okay, go to the sideline, make the adjustments, and, uh, and come out swinging the next drive. Do you feel like any of that had to do with just that first game, not getting that whole collective time as an offense during training camp, maybe in those preseason games? I, I'm not trying to make excuses, but just trying to, to get a collective idea of what. Yeah, it could have been. You know, I, don't, I don't really know. And at the end of the day, doesn't really matter, you know. We didn't do it, and um, and that's on us. So, uh, moving forward, we have to be able to respond better, to come out and play our game, uh, no matter what's going on. You know, even if things hadn't gone well, or if things did go really well, you get a first drive. You can't coast. You have to be able to come out each drive with a purpose, with a passion, and play with energy, and uh, play our style of football. Pro Bowl receiver Ryan. Yeah, it's, it's tough to navigate that, right? Because uh, we all work together, right? So, uh, wanna wanna push the envelope, uh, echo the messages that uh, that we believe in in this in this program, and uh, and push the guys to go take care of that. You know, starting in practice today and then throughout the week. But ultimately, it's a mindset, and we have to carry that forward on Sunday. So balance, Ryan, between you got those two Pro Bowl receivers and you want to get them targets, but at the same time, you don't want to force balls in there. What's, what's kind of the balance there and kind of that fine line that you got to walk? Yeah, I think just take the opportunities when, when they arise, right? We have different play calls that will come up in different situations, and uh, I just try to read it true, right? Um, go through my, my read and my progression to what the defense is dictating, just like I have uh, any other point here in Tennessee. So um, that doesn't change. Uh, obviously, we added a piece on the outside, but my my process doesn't change as far as getting those guys the ball. What do you 
one pass to, to Julio that wound up getting tipped for the for the pick. You know, was that a particularly tight window, you know, in looking back at it? Or, or you know, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it was a tight window. It was a little bit off schedule. They dropped guys inside, had extra whole players inside. Um, did a good job take, taking away the inside two guys. He was outside, ended up working all the way back in. A um, little bit off schedule there and a uh, tight window, you know, threw it with some steam on there and, uh, you know, what happened, happened. When you came back from your ACL, what was the process like in terms of trusting it mentally and, and trusting it physically? And how many games maybe did that take for you to feel like you were all the way there? Yeah, I don't know. I think by the time I was playing football, you know, I trusted it. Um, I wouldn't say it felt just like my other leg yet, but, uh, you know, you trusted it. You, you go out, if you're, you're able to play, then, then you're, you're trusting your knee and you're able to, uh, to go. And there's definitely some things you have to work through there, but at the end of the day, if, if you're playing, then you have to, you have to trust it and, and let it ride. Uh, Derek is such a lead by example kind of guy. When he speaks up like he did on Sunday on the sideline, does that maybe get guys' attention to try to you know, bring them, snap them too, when, when he doesn't speak much? Yeah, I don't know. You know, we were in a position there where, um, you know, everyone, everyone knew what needed to happen. We needed to, to, to go out and move the ball. And, uh, you know, Derek's a, a competitor. He wants to go out there and, and win and, and, and do good things, right? Move the ball, hit big runs, score touchdowns, score points. And we were in a critical spot there that we needed to turn it around. So, uh, you know, he felt that and he acted on it. The offense seemed kind of slow. Is that fair? And does that go with the effort and the passion and the finish that you were talking about? Yeah, we, we didn't come out and, and get anything going. You know, we, we went three and out and had the turnover and three and out again, right? And it's tough to, uh, to play fast and, and put pressure on a defense whenever you're not on the field. So um, obviously we need, to, we need to get into drives. We need to get that first first down, get the chains moving. That way we can uh, you know, call some more plays, you know, give our guys more opportunities. You know, we have, have good playmakers, but if we're not running plays, then we can't give them opportunities. So it's key to, uh, to get the, the drive going, move the chains, and get that first first down. Ryan, on that naked boot, did Chandler Jones do something that film said he would do something else? Yeah, he hadn't showed on tape too. <laughs> Come directly at the QB there. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know what? What gave him the nod to uh, to come directly upfield there? Maybe he was just chasing a sack and it, it worked out for him. Uh, don't know what it was, but you know, unfortunately, he he took a great angle and got there pretty quick. You guys been playing with a little more urgency. Obviously, tempo can establish that. But when you're on the road at Seattle, you know, an environment like that, how much can that impact you know, your ability to use that tempo if you guys choose to do? It? Yeah, we got to communicate. It's going to be loud. It's going to be Hectic. We have to be able to communicate cleanly in a loud, uh, hostile environment. Um, guys, got to communicate with each other. With me, uh, you know, we have to echo calls, all that, all that type of thing. So, uh, it definitely makes it tougher, and it will be a challenge. But uh, I don't think it takes us out of that. How unusual in your experience is the kicker situation in the the two plus years you've been here? I mean, I can't imagine you've ever played with so many, have you? Oh, it's been pretty wild. You know, not your your typical. Scenario, but uh, you know I let Coach Variable and John handle those things. You, you were teammates with Randy at Texas A&M. Am I right about that? Yeah. Is it kind of what's it like kind of being reunited with him after all these years? And I guess you can maybe attest to what he can do. Yeah, it's kind of wild, right? I, I walked into the cafeteria and uh, I think it was Saturday morning and saw him sitting there. <laughs> you know, it was kind of a, a shock to see a familiar face I and mean, going back to college. You know, so uh, you know I held for him four years at A&M. Um, saw what he could do. Obviously, you know he's been been kicking, you know, since then. So, um, you know, excited to have him on the team and, and look forward to watching him bang it through the uprights. Get a lot of downfield shots, Ryan. I guess was was a large part of that reason. Just not a lot of time, uh, you know, for a, a lot of dropbacks. Yeah, I mean, you guys kind of saw what was going on there. They were they were getting after us pretty good, um, and made it tough. Made it tough to to get anything going down down the field. Uh, they're playing, playing some coverage where ball could not come out quickly down the field, and uh, they were able to get there by the time we were able to to get open down there. So, um, you know, definitely make it tough. But you know, going going forward to this week, we know we know how we like to play the game and, and the challenge ahead of us, and, and look forward to improving those things 